Hello guys, my name is Luke, and I will be teaching you how to make your own Minecraft mods. Now, making Minecraft mods, it can be very stressful, and as well as it can be a very big burden. So, if you're one naturally get frustrated, I mean, prepare to get more frustrated. So, what you're going to need is MCP, Mod Loader, Audio Mod, and Eclipse. Now, if you're on a Mac, the coding will all be the same, but you can also you can use Edit Rocket. Now I don't really know how to set up Edit Rocket with MCP, but I'm pretty sure you could figure it out. And um, so, anyways, all these will be in the description as well as Edit Rocket in case you're on a Mac, like I said. So go on and open up MCP using RenRAR or 7-Zip. It's really your choice. I'm just going to use RenRAR because I don't really like 7-Zip. Uh, so you're going to have all these folders, and go on and make a new folder on your desktop and you're going to name it MCP all capitals or you can name it whatever you want like Minecraft modding it's really your choice and then you're going to highlight all the folders and then hit extract to and then choose the folder you just created so it's going to extract and once it's done extracting uh, a lot of people get really discouraged whenever they see all these folders like oh my goodness what am I going to do with all these folders I don't know half the things about what I'm looking at or any of the things I'm looking at I don't know what they do so let me just explain th some things for you the first folder conf conf you don't need to worry about that but you're gonna need it so keep it there same thing with docs eclipse lib and runtime um, the only folder you're gonna have to start worrying about is jars so uh, that's the only thing you have to worry about right now. Now for the batch files and uh, sh files, um, cleanup. It's basically very self-explanatory. It cleans up every time you just want to start a clean slate, and you're tired of always getting errors, and you just think it might be better to restart. Now decompile will decompile your jar so you're ready to edit it. Recompile does the um, op sorry does the opposite of re decompile. It's a little tongue twister. Um, so it like patches all of the uh, it like okay. Let's just say decompile takes everything out of the jar, recompile puts it all back in. So I'm just trying to put things in a very basic way so you understand them. Now reobfuscate. Uh, that that's what you're going to use whenever you want to. Uh, how how should I put this? That's what you're going to use whenever you want to bring your mod out of the. Um, out of MCP and actually get the dot class files for yourself. Now start client, very explain it or very self-explanatory as well as start server, update MCP, update MD5, and update names. Those are all very self-explanatory. So hopefully now you don't feel if you felt any discouragement. Now you don't. I hope now you don't feel any discouragement. So go on and open up Mod Loader with Renoir or Seven Zip again and open up your jars file in MCP. Next what you're going to do is go into run and type in app data print percent sign app data percent sign and then go into dot minecraft and get your bin folder as well as your resources and they're gonna need to be clean and when I say clean you should have no mods inside of it except for mod loader so go on and delete your meta inf sorry delete your meta inf and install mod loader. Now, if you don't know how to install mod loader, um, yeah, if you don't know how to install mod loader, I don't think you're personally ready to start modding. Because if you can't even figure out how to install a mod, then to be honest, you're not ready to mod. If you can't even figure out how to install your own mod, I hope you see my point of view. So, if you don't know how to install, I'd suggest going to look at videos on how to install and then coming back to this video. But for right now, copy your bin using Control C. I think it's Control v or I think it's Command C on a Mac. I'm not really sure. Never owned a Mac, so you're gonna have to bear with me. So hold down Control C, click your bin, and click your Resources folder. Then go inside your MCP slash jars, and hit Control V or Command V. I'm not really sure. Um, and that should paste it in there, or you can manually copy and paste the folders. It's really your choice, but I find it easier to use Control V and Control C. Now, excuse me while I take a little drink of water because. My mouth is getting dry. Okay. Uh, so, now I should be able to talk more clearly. 
uh, go on and hit decompile and we are ready to start modding. So in this ne next episode I'm going to upload two videos at one time so you get the maxed or so at least you get some modding done and not having to wait a while for my modding videos to come out. I hope you get, I'm going to make it so you get some modding done and make it so that you are going to be a professional modder, hopefully. If you follow these tutorials, um, make sure to subscribe so you can get updates whenever I upload new ones. And uh, make sure to thumbs up if this helped you. And I will see you in, your, in the next episode. Now I'm going to put annotations on the screen that tells you like next episode, previous episode, so on and so forth. But of course this won't have a previous episode as it is my first video. So go on and click the next video annotation up there. At least it should be up there. And if it's not, my video is uploading right now because I upload them at the same time. So uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and goodbye.